Well, officially, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Great day here in southern West Virginia. No, it's a wonderful day here in southern West Virginia and a great day all across the state. Welcome, my name is Randy Dameron with the Department of Transportation. And a note to the media, if you'd like to do interviews afterwards, after our speaking portion, we're going to uh, take some photographs. Uh, we're going to take some photographs with the shovels. <laughs> and then if you want to go out, we can uh, make arrangements to get down on the work, on the work project. What do you think? Okay, very good. You know, we have, uh, we have new leadership in the Department of Transportation. And you're going to meet them both today. I'd first like to introduce our new commissioner of the Department of Highways, Mr. Jimmy Riston. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm very proud to be here today. Uh, 29 years ago, we began this project, which is longer than I've been with the highway department. So this is, this is a great day for, for, for everybody down here. And I'm very honored to be the commissioner and uh, deputy secretary for the Department of Transportation. And I take it very seriously, and we're going to get a lot of work done. We're focused on maintenance, but as you can see, we're still going to deliver our Roads Prosperity Program. We're going to deliver our federal aid program. We're going to get every job that we say we're going to get done, done. And uh, that's just the gist of everything I have to say. So I'll introduce our new Secretary of Transportation, Bird White. Thank you, Jimmy. I'm the new kid on the block and I'm still learning. I got Jimmy teaching me stuff. and got the governor telling me what to do and him telling me how to do it, so I've got a pretty easy job right now. But my primary focus today is, is to introduce to you my friend and the governor of West Virginia, Jim Justice. Well, Bird, thank you, and Jimmy, thank you, and uh, our great senators and delegates and all of our mayor, I just... Uh, so many people here that uh, have been friends a long, long, long time. Now I'm going to sit and talk with you because I got to talk to you just a second. You know, I grew up in southern West Virginia. I'm really proud of that and uh, I'm really thankful for it. On the other hand, you know, we uh, we want to do any and everything we can for our entire state and we work at it all the time. I can remember Brother Browning and lots of people that, you know, they didn't get older, but I sure did. But this thing, if you just think about it, and I just said this to Jimmy Riston just a second ago, but I said, you know what? We have, we have worn out a section of this road, worn it out before we got the rest of the road built. I mean, it's pitiful to tell you the truth. It's just, it's sad. Because this connector in southern West Virginia would bring this area of the world to the world. So, today is a great day. Randy said a wonderful day. And there's no question it's a wonderful day. Now, we're going to pave I think it's 8.6 miles, you know, it's a, it's a big deal, and 8.9 miles that we're going to pay between Mullins, I mean between where we are right here at Slab Fork to Mullins, and then we're going to pay a connector, a two-lane two connector that's going to go about another, I'm just talking, Forget it. I'll just chill. Randy, get me fired up again. You got me? Keep talking. All right, I'll just keep talking. Well, we're going to pave another one mile of two-lane road down into the town of Mullins. Now, that's great stuff. But now here's what I want to do. You know, in this governor job, from time to time, it sounds braggadocious, and I'm not, I am not that person in any way, shape, or fashion. But I came to you with a SOS program. 
and I came to you with that program on February the 20th, 2017. The original grading of this section started approximately 10 to 12 years ago. I came to you with the SOS program in February of 2017. I came to you with the Roads to Prosperity bond that passed in October of 2017, probably six or seven months later. Today we awarded this project right here on October the 2nd of 2018, this paving. And we think today, on April the 18th, we're going to start this project. And on approximately October of 2019, we're going to finish it. So let's just, let's just be real. We came to you with the SOS program. February of 2017 and in October of 2019 I don't know what that is but that's 16 months later we're gonna be done we're gonna be done now I am telling you there's a lot of people that can take a lot of credit and these great people did great work you did great work the people that are here that are working every day do great work every day. And I hope to goodness you'll say your leader, your leader, absolutely put some real emphasis on this and lo and behold, we're getting it done. Now, there's more to this story. We have a new secretary. We've got a new commissioner that are right behind me. We got a hands-on commissioner and deputy secretary and we got a real knowledgeable secretary. Now, not that we didn't have a good man in Tom Smith at all. Tom's a good man. But Tom looked at projects differently than what we look at projects. We understand you've got to be able to get to the convenience stores. I've said it a million times. And when the roads are torn all to pieces, our secondary roads, we've got to do something about it. We've got to put maintenance first. We've got to put that first. We still have to do our big projects, and we're doing our big projects. But let me tell you just this. We just had a conversation about this. I've had two other conversations about this on two other different occasions. Here's something, and I want you to look. I want you to look very, very closely at this map. It's hard to see. But this little blue area right here is where we're going to, that part of the map, is where we're going to be paving. From there, Mullins to Pineville, this area of red that goes on past Pineville, we don't have a design yet on that. And then we're, we have a Roads to Prosperity program in the yellow that connects both ends of the prison area where I went the other day and you have a section of road that was built 20 years ago, and it disconnects to nowhere. Now, let me tell you just this. We have had a lot of discussion on just being able to follow the coal seam and taking the benefits of the coal that enhances our ability to be able to build the road. You know, today, metallurgical coal, what's right in these mountains? Metallurgical coal is back and it's at a solid price and everything. This is low ball metallurgical coal. And if we can do this, and we talked just a second ago, I've had two different previous meetings over the last six months, you know, about how, how do we design ourselves and get ourselves to the state line? Not get ourselves to Pineville, we're going to work on a way to get to Pineville right now, okay? And then we're going to work on a way to get to Welch right on top of that. But what we need to do more than anything is just this, and you got to listen to me because this is how I think. I, don't, I can't function thinking, you know, about 29 years. I can't do that. 
You know, I try to do everything 10 months, 10 months, 10 months. That's all I want to do, 10 months. Let me tell you what's going to happen. In 10 months from today, you'll have a national, I got a national infrastructure program, a national program that will come out, and I'll lay you money on it right now, that within 10 months, we have a trillion dollar infrastructure program in this country. We want to be ready. We want to be ready right here. Because I will promise you, if we were ready right here, we could get the money from the federal government to complete ourselves all the way to the uh, Virginia line. If you do that, you open up the whole, everything in southern West Virginia end in. And I'll tell you how we can get the money is if they announce a trillion dollar program, my first call is going to be to the president, to my friend, and say, Donald, now's when you really need to step up. Now's when you need to really be able to help a friend. He loves Southern West Virginia and he loves our coal miners. Right now is when we need to get this done. It's right at our fingertips, right as we speak. So the long and the short of it is we want to celebrate going to Mullins, there's no question. And we want to celebrate 8.9 miles and then another mile. We want to celebrate it beyond belief. But I again want you to think big. I want you to know that that road that's worn out and this road that wasn't even, that hasn't been, been finished, that road that's been worn out, I want to say another thing. And Jimmy was just able to tell me all this and everything, but we have two paving projects to complete this road, to resurface this road all the way back to the turnpike, and another one on to the, to the Veterans Hospital and we've got that in the workings, and that and this will be done this summer. So, while you're focused on this, you can focus on that as well. Because by the end of the summer, we're going to be able to go all the way to the Veterans Hospital and all the way to Mullins on a newly surfaced road without banging our teeth out all the way. We're doing it all the way across the state. And it's good stuff. I'm going to leave you with just this thought right here. And this has to be the most important thing of the day. We just lost a National Guard. We just lost a paratrooper. We just lost an individual that we cannot release his name. You know, uh, I can't tell you how important these people are to all of us. You know, at the end of the day, and you see my hands starting to halfway shake, but uh, these people provide us everything we have in life. We owe everything we have to our military. And uh, I just ask you to maybe bow your heads with me and I'll say a little prayer. You know, dear Heavenly Father, this family's hurting, and we lost a great man. And we ask that you'll be with him and accept him into your beautiful eternity and be with the family. Bless them and look after them and hold them close to your heart and, uh, and carry them that way always. In Christ's dear name I pray. Amen. Well, that's all I got. Some way, somehow, we knocked down the sign, or I did, it was a great win, did you? We'll leave it there. Again, I thank you, and uh, the press can come and ask us questions, then we'll ride out there, and let's do some shots with the shovels, and celebrate what Randy calls a wonderful day with these great people that have really helped in every way, and I thank all of you.